Good morning, fam. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I've actually been like lagging my TikTok content. I've just been in a weird funk lately. So let's just talk about it. Seasonal depression. If you struggle with it, let's talk about it. I'm going to give you my three tips. Just what helps me this time of year. I was struggling so bad earlier in October. Like you have no idea. Ooh, excuse me. I'm gassy too. I'm going to do a quick beat, but I feel like doing a dramatic eye just because it's the weekend and I always look like death Monday through Friday. So if you want to stick around, three of my go-to tips. Keep watching. I already primed my skin and all of this. This is what I put. Every, my skincare, I usually get it all at TJ Maxx or Marshall. So I put 24 karat gold with pretty skin uh, serum all over me. And then I went into a pretty fresh. So first things first, when it comes to depression, I'm sure we all see this, right? The perfect aesthetic fall photos of the couples and all the cute shit. And like, even though like I'm married, I still struggle with it, okay? I still struggle with it because at the end of the day, I'm in a different bracket when it comes to different life stresses. And I'm sure you do too, whether you're in a relationship, you're married, you're maybe you're, you know, you're living together, single, it doesn't matter. Like it just hits everybody differently. And I feel like one of the biggest reasons is because well, one, the season, especially as Californians, we get so dramatic. We're so dramatic once it gets cloudy, like we just do. But I really do feel like it's different triggers. Like for me, I feel like I don't know if it's like my past like childhood it makes me think of certain family members. My family's gotten smaller. There's a lot of diversity. It's just, it's a weird feeling, but I just feel like I have to go through the emotion. And from what I've learned, even just in therapy and my shadow work, you have to just go through and accept the emotion, not victimize it. Okay. So for me as a mother, I feel like I'm personally healing my personal childhood traumas just with my child doing things with him. And for Halloween, October, it is like the busiest month with like all the activities. And this year, since I was prepping, I didn't take him to the LA County Fair. Not just because of what I wasn't eating. It's just it just what didn't happen, like the timing, just everything that was going on. So number one, first things first is to move your body. I know you hear this all the time. You're just like, oh, bitch, maybe I'm not into the gym or whatever the case is. It doesn't matter. Even if it's going on walks, maybe it's before work. Like for me, I have a treadmill in, the, in my garage. So I'm like, okay, this is where I slack. I know mentally and where I struggle, where I just certain parts of my body, especially where I've had surgery, it'll trigger me like, I'm hurting or it feels tender do I really want to go outside do I even want to pack up and go to the gym or whatever but it's like mind you I've already done what I had to do this is just going to be a lifestyle like I already know it gets triggered every season especially when it gets cooler so move your body and you're probably just like not into it I need you to get into it because it's a really big part of your mental health we can easily get sucked into this funk of just like binging eating chips, watching movie, TV, scrolling on social media. You need to move your body. So for me, especially from like October, well, November even too, I'm going to give myself the month where I'm literally going to the gym. I think like four days a week, I'm saying to myself, at least between five and 6 a.m. to hit my main hit workouts and to get my cardio in because I slacked a little bit of my cardio last year with my other coach. This is before I went into my full prep and I know I could have did better. So I feel like this is a good mental challenge for me just so I know for a fact I won't fall off. Number two is going to be watch what you consume on social media. Watch what you consume on anything, especially with your phone. I feel like there's a lot of dark demonic energy. I'm not talking from a brujaria standpoint. I'm not talking from a zodiac or anything like that. It's just you got a lot of people out here that are projecting their traumas and their anger on other people. And energy does transfer even to the people that you sleep with. Even if it's just casual sex, it really doesn't matter. So be really mindful of what you choose to consume. If you feel like something is triggering you, even for me, like... There's certain things that'll come up on my social media page and I'm just like, I'm just not, it could even be on my for you page. It could be on my anything. And I'm just like, I just delete it. I block it. I hide it. And I'm just like, I don't want to consume anything like this. I just don't. If it triggers me, it makes me feel some type of way. I just let it be. We have to be really mindful just because we just do. We just don't know what people are battling. People be wishing ill will on other people, like whatever the case is. I actually just went through a situation recently with a couple relatives along with a girl that I thought something so highly of but that went so left but i was like you know what hey you live and learn and things happen so i just had to block her i don't hate the girl she would hit me up i because i see her in the street i would still say what's up to her but i just can't have her access to me you feel me so be limited to what you choose to consume you along to have access with you okay
Number three, I learned this one a long time ago when I had my first panic attack after I had Malachi. Didn't even know what that was until I had one. <laughs> and it's going to be consume greens daily. Now, I'm not saying over here like, oh, yeah, drink your bloom like everybody else does, these influencers. No, try to eat like a salad. Try to put some type of vegetable with your meal throughout the day, even if it's breakfast, lunch. I always implement some type of greens. And I, I already do because it's in my lifestyle. But if you're somebody who doesn't, like my husband doesn't, I try to put it like in his dinner green beans, some asparagus, make them a side salad, uh, not such a high calorie dressing. You want to try to consume greens. Greens are so good for your body. If you ever look at some articles, research the benefits of actually consuming high greens daily, it really does help with your mental health, whether you struggle with anxiety or anything like that. But I, like I said, I get depression. I'm like, okay, you need to be on top of your water and my greens. So I do a green supplement and I do greens daily just in my food. If I don't have time, say I'm out of anything, just whatever, I will get myself a keto salad at a Pollo Loco and I'll only use a little bit of the cilantro dressing and put some lemon. Just so I know I'll put some type of greens into my body daily and it really has helped me a lot. If you could do a green juice, I would recommend that, green smoothie, just try to implement your greens somewhere, including with your children. For my favorites, I know sometimes you dread to do it because it's easy to throw on a pair of sweats, but number four is going to be your self-care, okay? Don't just get drowned in the sweats. Don't just get drowned with just like whatever, throwing in a beanie. No, make yourself look good for yourself. It really does help. Um, even for me, like I have a go-to like quick, I have like a quick 10-minute routine where I just do, if I don't have time and I'm busy and I'm on the go because I have a full day a full schedule i'll put like some bb cream make sure i have a moisturizer a nice lip balm a little bit of a cream blush and a contour on my face just so i look a little more decently put together it does help and not only that i always say it too my mother would always say this too i don't know if it's just like a latina thing also where it's like you always want to dress you never know what you're going to come across and like, honestly it's so crazy you guys like there is a field i don't want to say yet of work that i do want to get into eventually and I feel like next year is going to be my calling. But literally, I've met three women this year. And one of them already just casually interviewed me in the streets without me even knowing what she did. And she already offered me a job, you know. So and it's just I was just looking pretty decent. Like I just was like, whatever, you know, I just had like a little bit of BB cream. Like I said, uh, mascara. I'm not saying you have to be like that, but just having myself decently put together in a basic pair of le leggings, a crop top. You guys see there's so many inexpensive just athleisure wear. Keep yourself together. It really does help. And I understand that even if you're just going to go to the gas station, just do it for yourself. You're going to feel so much better. You just never know. And ladies, if you're single, you never know what you can meet out there too. I'm just saying. Lastly, number five is probably one of my hardest ones for me, just in general, is to break out of your usual routine. I know it's easy to just like, oh, I want to hibernate. I want to just like hide from the world. I just want to X, Y, and Z. But you know what? You don't know what the world has to offer. And I'm not saying you have to go out every single weekend. I'm not saying anything. But like for me, like I said to myself, I was telling my girl Sandra this recently. Sandra, if you see this, I love you. But like I've been trying to hang out with certain people and I feel like I've let my personal funk get the best of me. And I'm like, no, I need to make time. This is a perfect time of year where you kind of just kind of recenter with yourself and make time for those that actually matter. What relationships have you actually neglected? And it really doesn't matter. I don't care how many. I know somebody who has literally over more than five kids and they will still make time for me just to like go have a date. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's just to go share a meal because I know she's busy with her stuff and she works. So make time for those that make time for you, but also that feed your spirit. But relationships that actually matter to you. It could even be family. It could be anybody. This is a really great time where it's things start to slow down. We don't have that chaos of vacations and summer and beach and meet me at the club and the bar and the whoop doo doo wah. What the hell was that? Sorry, that's my child. But anyways, I just wanted to share these tips and hopefully it can help out somebody else because I am somebody who struggles with seasonal depression. And I know people could be like, well, you know, you look like you have it together, whatever. But at the end of the day, you never know what people are going through because people only show so much, you know. I was bat been battling some really dark demons and, you know, and I have to work through it. And honestly, if I didn't have my child, I was telling one of my homies, like, I wouldn't push through the way I do. You feel me? So... Hopefully this helps out somebody. I'm going to finish getting myself together. I just wanted to make this video and bring a little light to somebody. And if you are struggling with yourself, just know that you're not alone. There's a lot of us. Just some of us are going to talk better than others.